So welcome back guys to another tutorial on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be working on the part 3 for the math game. So I already have my division button from the backpack. So what I did was just drew a, a rectangle and wrote division. So it's pretty simple to do. Pretty sure you guys can all do that. So first I'm going to start on the code on division. So I'm going to get a one flag clicked. I want to hide. Let me zoom in a little bit. One flag click hide, and then when I receive start game, I want to hide. And then when this sprite is clicked, I'm gonna um, broadcast start game, and I'm gonna broadcast a new message and call it start division. Uh, start division. And next, um, when I receive choose game, we are also going to show. When you receive choose game, we're going to show. And then this part is just for when you put your mouse on it, it'll get bigger and smaller. So when flag clicked, get a forever loop. If a uh, touching mouse pointer, then set size to 85. 85. Else, we want to set the size back to 100. So, okay, so that's all the code for the division button. Let's move on to the cat. So, for the cat, we're going to be making a new custom block. So, let's go to my blocks so we can create our new custom block. And we can just simply call it division. Division. And click OK. Division. I'm going to move it onto this side. So, I'm going to start coding from this side. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to get a forever loop, uh, I'm going to set the guess to zero, set the guess to zero, and then I'm going to set the random number one to pick random one to a hundred, so I'm going to do uh, uh, pick uh, random one to a hundred, but for the second one I'm only going to do pick random one to ten, so it's not too hard, random number two to one to ten, so it could be two digit divided by one digit or three digit divided by two digit so it's not too hard um so we're gonna get a repeat loop repeat until repeat until um we're gonna repeat until we're gonna get an equal sign and a mod so what mod is is basically the remainder of two numbers so let's say i have a 10 and i have a five so if you click on it the mod is zero because 10 and 5 do not have a remainder but let's say if you do 10 and 3, the mod would be 1 because 10 divided by 3 is 3 remainder 1. So the remainder is 1. So mod is simply put um, the two um, values the, and the remainder of the two values. So that's what mod is. So we're going to get the mod. So this is just to pick it. So it'll be a, um, so the two numbers getting divided would be even. So it would not have remainder. So we're going to make... The numbers not have remainders so we're gonna find the mod of random number one and random number two and if it's equal to zero because zero means um, that there will be no remainder then we want to reset set the random number one to what pick random one to 100 like that and then we're gonna set answer the problem uh, to random number one divided by random number two so we're here I'm gonna put random number one divided by random number two like that and then we're gonna get a repeat until so we're gonna repeat until repeat until um, guess is equal to answer the problem guess is equal to answer the problem um, and then next we want to ask, ask, uh, join. We need two joins. Um, since there's no division sign on the keyboard, I'm going to be using the slash symbol, which also means division. So we're going to join the random number one. And then I'm going to put a slash, random number two, like that. And then I'm going to set the guess to the answer. Set the guess to the answer. And then after that, I'm going to get an if else. So let's put the if else in here. 
drag the if else right here. And if answer, we're gonna get uh, equal. So if the answer is equal to random number one divided by random number two, um, random number one, divide that by random number two. Then we're gonna play, I'm just gonna duplicate this, play sound guitar strum, say that is correct, and change the score by one. And then when you get it incorrect, I'm gonna duplicate the same thing, play the string pluck, and say that is the wrong answer. So that's it for the division block, so now we're gonna have to call it. So let's go back right here. Um, so I'm just gonna get a broadcast when I receive start division. I'm gonna call the custom block division. And one last thing, we have to do the random. So I'm actually gonna I have to put I still have to put the random in my um, backpack. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so now I have the random block. So what this does is if you can't pick either of the modes, then you can just click random. And it'll pick a random mode for you. So let's get a one flat clicked. We won't hide this in the beginning. Hide. And then when I receive start game, when I receive start game, we're gonna hide. And then when I receive choose game, we wanna show. And then um, we're gonna get the same thing from here. Drag and drop this into here. This is all the same, like that. And then for the random part, we're gonna have to do the random part now. So this function right here will pick a random uh, mode for you. So when this right click, we wanna broadcast start game. And then we wanna set um, the variable random game we made from the beginning of the uh, videos. From the first video, we made the variable random game. So now we're gonna have to use it. So we're going to make it pick random 1 to 4 because there's 4 operators, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And then we're going to get an if then statement. If random game is equal to 1. If random game is equal to 1. Then we want to broadcast start addition. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this. Everything else is pretty much the same. So if random game is equal to 2, then we're going to have to do subtraction. And let's duplicate all of this, put it under here. And when random game is equal to 3, then we want to start multiplication. And then when random number game is equal to 4, then we can start division. Okay, so I think that's it. So let's play the game. I'm going to save it. And then for the cat, I'm just going to... Um, put this right here so I don't have to keep on listening to this so let's make it bigger let's play, let's play a math game so let's click random as you can see it picked a random one for me and when you get it right it'll say it's correct if you get it wrong it'll say it's wrong so I'm gonna quit um, and I'm gonna do division this time to show you guys what division is so 44 as you can see it's a whole not it's a, a number that uh, it has no remainders, um, so 44 divided by 4 is 11. See, there's no remainders. Uh, we use the mod, making it have no remainders, so that's that's the good part of this. So, as you can see, there's still no remainder. So, that's working. So, it's pretty cool. So, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning the series. Um, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.